All right, guys. Uh, in this case, we want to consider what we refer to as the vertically opposite angles. Uh, it's another part of our straight lines that is also important. Remember, a straight line, the part is not going to change about these angles on a straight line that they do add up to 180 degrees. But take a closer look. If two straight lines intersect, you are given two straight lines and they cross each other like this, two straight lines crossing each other, they form angles which are referred to as vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. And what is the relationship that is there on these vertically opposite angles. Let's say we've got angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four being formed by these angles. These angles vertically opposite to each other, vertically opposite, the vertically opposite, they are equal. They are equal. So meaning to say angle one, and angle three, they are equal vertically to each other, vertical opposite. So angle one plus angle three, uh, sorry, angle one is equal to, remember I'm saying these are equal. Angle two and angle four, they are also equal. Angle two is equal to angle four. So in actual sense, we are simply saying vertically opposite angles are equal. They are equal. So with this alone, it can help us to form equations, solve them on a straight line. And not forgetting that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees when taken to be on a straight, forming a straight line. So let's use these two concepts to answer our questions. They were given to find, to calculate these letters X, Y, and Z. These are two straight lines that are intersect. They meet, they cross each other. So meaning to say angle Y and angle Z vertically opposite. Angle X and angle 105 vertically opposite. So by that, these two angles, they are equal. So remember that. So X is equal to 105 degrees. Vertical, we're talking about oh, vertical opposite angles there. Vertical opposite angles. What about this Y and Z? If we know that this is 105 degrees, if we know that this is 105 degrees, what about angle Z and angle Y? We can use any concept there to calculate angle Y. We can use the concept of angles on a straight line like this. Angle X and angle Y, they are on a straight line. They are on a straight line and angles on a straight line add up to 180. Actually, they are adjacent supplementary angles. So if I add the angle X and Y, I'm supposed to obtain 180 degrees, meaning to say, if that is the case, I'm going to take X. Remember, X is 105. So 105 plus angle Y is equal to 180 degrees. So what is going to be the value of y? I can take the 105 to the other side, 105 there. It was a positive. So on this side, it will be a negative. You subtract the 105 on the other side or just subtract here or just take it to the other side. Guys, you know how to solve your equations now. So meaning to say y is equal to 180 minus 105 degrees. You have formed an equation. Therefore, solve it just like the previous case. You must solve your equations after that. So that was going to give us uh, 75 degrees. So that is the angle Y that we have here, 75 degrees. So what about angle Z? Remember the vertically opposite angles concept, two lines formed. So angle Y and angle Z are equal. So meaning to say angle Z is also going to be uh, 75 degrees. So angle Z was going to be 75 degrees vertically opposite angles. It is vertically opposite to angle Y. 
So you see the part of vertical upward weight is playing a role now. It is playing a part on our straight lines. Wherever you see these, this X, whenever you see this X, that X, take them like that. This one and this one, they are equal. This one and this one, they are equal. Just like that. So meaning to say already here, we have got the value of angle J. Angle J is equal to what? 64 degrees. So by knowing that this is 64 degrees, we can either calculate L or K, anyone that you want by forming a straight line like this, angles on a straight line. They add up to 180 degrees. So it means this angle L plus the angle J, which is 64 degrees, is supposed to give us 180 degrees. Or you can use it the same way this side. This angle 64 plus K is supposed to give us one. It depends with the way that you are solving from. Still, you're going to have the same thing. Do not worry about that. So L is going to be on the other side there. You subtract. So that is 180 degrees minus 64 degrees. So L was going to be equal to what the difference uh, between uh, these two. That was going to be 116 degrees. If you subtract properly, this is 116 degrees. So meaning to say, if L is 116 degrees, K is also 116 degrees. Remember, from the vertically opposite angles, L and K, they are vertically opposite angles. And we do understand that vertically opposite angles are equal. So that is how you are going to answer these typical questions. There we need to calculate angle A, B, C, and D. So you need to trace the vertically opposite angles. There we have got a straight line. All right, let's consider this one. Straight line there and also this one. So we are forming the angle A and the 88 degrees. Angle A is equal to 88 degrees, vertically opposite angles. Let's consider angle B and angle 62, vertically opposite angles. We're talking about this straight line, this one, and this one. They form X. So this angle and this angle, they are equal. Angle B is equal to 62 degrees also vertically opposite angles. So we have got our angle B being 62 degrees. We do understand angle C and D, they are also equal, vertically opposite. Look, the straight line here and this straight line here. So angle A, uh, angle D and C, they are equal. So by solving for C, we are solving for D. So which concept are you going to solve, are you going to use to find any of these? All right, let's consider angle C. This is a straight line. You can consider your straight line like this. You add angles on a straight line, add up to 180. You can consider your straight line like this. Angles on a straight line, they add up to one. Guys, it's up to you the way that you want. You are going to obtain the same value of C. So in this case, let's solve uh, for C. Angles on a straight line, add up to 180. So if we take uh, 62 degrees, the 88 degrees and the angle C, they are forming a straight line. Remember, angles on a straight line is equal to 18. Or you can take it this way, 88 plus C plus 62 is equal to 180. Still, it is one and the same equation that we have formed here. You can form it in terms of D. It's still one and the same, guys. You find D, you find C. So do not worry about that. Okay, so let's add our numbers together, the angles together. That's 62 plus 88, which is going to be 150 degrees. So 150 plus C is equal to 180. So C is going to give us what? 150 to the other side. The moment you take that, it was a positive. So it will become a negative on this side. It's going to be a negative. So that's 180 minus 150 degrees. You have got the value of C which was going to be uh, 30 degrees, the difference between these two. So if C is 30 degrees, D also is equal to 30 degrees, vertically opposite angles. So D and C, they are vertical opposite angles. But for us to find C, the statement that you're going to give here is angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line. That is the concept there. So you can find everything. And, and the concept is that when you add everything with here, angles at a point, they add up to 360 degrees.
So you have in your angle A, remember we said our angle A is 88 degrees. If you add all these angles at a point, you must obtain 360 degrees. That is to show that your angles, they are correct at a point. That's not a straight line. This one is no longer a straight line. We are talking about a point, but a straight line. Please do not confuse this. Bear in mind, that's a point. But a straight line, 180 degrees. All right. So that is uh, our questions. We shall have more questions uh, from Mets on African Motives till we meet again.